How are you doing from whatever place it is that you are joined on to the Life Signatures Radio? It's a daily show on the subjects of purpose, productivity, and resilience. So good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. I hope you're doing well. I hope everything is around you is okay. And I hope that uh, even as you continue listening to this episode, you will pick up one thing or two. We're talking about these three topics, always going to be talking about these three topics or anything related to these three topics. We're going to be talking about purpose. We're going to be talking about productivity. We're going to be talking about resilience. Any one point in time in this episode. So if you're looking for any teaching podcast on those three subjects, this is the place to be. If it's making any sense to you, like I've seen uh, some of you coming back to me and asking, uh, can I get these uh, episodes? Uh, uh, how can I continue listening? If it's making sense to you, that means that it can make sense to somebody else. So please share with as many people as you can. We are doing a series and this series has been quite a bit long and we're going to continue at this series. We're talking about reputation. We've done this for over 10 or 15 episodes and we're going to continue talking about reputation, how important it is. We've seen why we should care about our reputations. We've seen how uh, important reputation is. We've seen the five things as to why we we should care about our reputations. We've seen one thing you can do that can make you to lose your reputation in an instant, to get your reputation soiled in an instant. That was in the episode yesterday. And today we're going to be talking about, we're going to start talking about how we can disfigure our good reputation. In other words, you've already built it. And how do you disfigure it? If you want to find out how you can disfigure your reputation, stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Of course, if you've been following this series, you know we've said how important your reputation is going to be. It is really important to every human being. The thing is that we all have reputations. They are those ones who have lived so much so that they consider their reputation an asset, a very critical asset, just like some of you consider cash very critical asset. But there are people who know that a reputation is much more critical than even cash because the reputation has a way of catering for all the other assets, cash included. And also they know that if this reputation is messed up, then it affects all the other assets, cash included. So they put a premium on their reputation more than they do on other things. They're those people who have reached that particular level. In fact, there are organizations who have reached that particular level where they put their reputation high above anything else. It is that particularly critical. If you are to be successful, it will be greatly because of a good reputation. Largely. Unless you are some kind of dictator who doesn't care about their reputation and you use the iron fist. But all things kept constant. If you're living in an environment that observes human rights and observes justice and righteousness, reputation is a currency. It's a massive currency. And I know it seems far-fetched, but it is true. The fact that reputation is out is not outrightly given to us as a tool or a principle of success does not negate the fact that it is actually critical to our advancement. When you talk about 
uh, elements of success people will be talking about this and that and that and seldom do people talk about reputation it could be it could have become such a silent factor that it is unnoticed but once it is an earth you will realize how critical this is to your life and to my life so much money goes into creating it goes into managing it goes into protecting reputations those ones who know how important it is it is especially for guys who are in the public domain politicians and even organizations celebrities governments they are critical about this it is said that not even one third of the atrocities and negative news that happen in the United States of America get reported why because they know how critical their reputation is when a bomb e- explodes somewhere in an african country cnn is fast there and they talk about how bad it is when covid broke out you we had people like melinda gates saying how uh, bodies are going to be spread in africa you know uh, in the streets people will be dying and their bodies spread in the streets and so on of course that did not happen but they were talking about africa's reputation at the top of their voices and we know for sure that they experienced much more death in covid than we did but you don't see it on the news they know this they know this they know how important a reputation is the 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 death that go on in chicago alone in america they are not reported if if they reported everything that goes on every vice that goes on in the nazis of america today all countries will issue a what what do they what do americans normally issue a travel advisory they normally issue a travel advisory against african countries i remember when uh, kenya just uh, kicked out a um, 24 year old dictator and okay 24 year rule 24 year tenure of a dictator in daniel arap moi immediately after i remember our foreign Uh, minister for foreign affairs kalonzo musyoka lamenting about americans issuing americans and britons issuing travel advisories who are, that were, was affecting our uh, tourism industry in the country the reputation of the country was at stake so why is it that americans normally shit themselves so much it is because they have figured out that if they have to paint a picture of a land where dreams can be achieved they will have to be creating managing and maintaining a great reputation and in every continent of the world america is a dream home just today but even in the 60s even in the 70s maybe i don't know even in the 50s people used to look forward to go to the united states of america know that it's a land of milk and honey flowing with milk and honey know that there are no vices in there they are there quite a number is just that they don't focus and they don't, they don't just give those vices a reputation that you know from out of the blue see your name my name is my fragrance your name is your fragrance i'm aware that you're not in america or you may, maybe you're not american neither are you a government probably you might not even be a celebrity of sorts that doesn't exclude you from making sure that you have a sterling reputation a standing reputation a, a an impeccable reputation if your name is mentioned the fragrance of that name the fragrance that accompanies it will always be your reputation good or bad that's it it smells of something either it's a foul smell or it's a very attractive soothing welcoming needing smell if what accompanies it is misgivings when your name is mentioned it will be because you have either had a bad reputation imputed on you or you have done it yourself by your own hands so we're going to be talking about how your reputations are going to be spoiled there are about seven ways at the bare minimum There could be very very many other ways that your reputation is spot. But there are about seven ways at the bare minimum that I'm I'm going to talk about. I'm going to just focus on starting with the episode tomorrow. And this might happen in general terms in two ways. First, it might happen in one instance. Just like that, a reputation is spot. In an instant. I can't think of a case right now where a reputation was lost in an instant I can't remember but sometimes it does that and it's the acute way of losing a reputation it could be massive 
but it's not so common you don't find people or organizations losing reputations overnight for the most part it's the second way which is a gradual process a gradual process and you've got to find a way of arresting that's why we've given we're given time every single the bible tells us the masses of god are new every morning every new morning is an opportunity for us to cater for our reputations if the process of getting dirty or getting spoiled has started the new day is an opportunity for us to rectify to have course correction so that we can have a reputation intact it's a daily thing it's a daily endeavor to keep a reputation it's a daily endeavor to build a reputation it's a daily endeavor to actually protect a reputation and we do it daily actually and some of us spend quite a bit of it and some of us have a top dollar budget for it but it's a daily thing and it's a needed thing normally the gradual process will be the result of the innate human nature to give each other another chance that's how we you know um uh benefit of doubt you do something wrong today i give you a benefit of doubt if you continue doing it again i give another benefit of doubt so, so gradually uh, you're dropping points gradually until such a place where it reaches a critical mass and you've lost your reputation it becomes irreparable even if it's repaired the trust is gone and it is difficult to trust you ever again so those are the two ways in which we can be able to have our reputation spoiled either it's acute or it is gradual either way your reputation can be soiled in one of all the following ways that I'm going to talk about uh, starting in the episode tomorrow how can you soil how can you mess up what you've already built in terms of your reputation when I'll be talking about that tomorrow starting tomorrow stay tuned bye bye Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh clean and inspiring.